peace and blessings family welcome welcome to my channel rooted in royalty is aisha diamond here yes none other than aisha diamond um is the gambia safe first let's touch on that and i was talking to about um should she go to ghana or gambia or whatever and I always tell people, it is your choice and you have to pray. And now I am going to tell people about prayer now. Grand Rising Royal Family, let's do this. want to pray for you she said she's very happy for what you have done for them she wants to pray with you for you and also family i will be doing story time very soon so you all can catch this story now here i am about to bring the drama you know you all know i try my best to live a positive life but sometimes the drama just finds you and follows you. You cannot hide. It's coming. <laughs> but all is good. All is well. All is well. Got to figure out what works for you. And so, um, I have had people to reach out to me. Talking about the Gambia. And asking, is the Gambia safe? And uh, one of my beautiful subscribers wanted to know, wanted to figure out, should she go to the Gambia or should she go to Ghana? Now, that was one of my questions, too. <laughs> I had to pray and fast about it because you all know I was heading to Ghana all day, every day. So I had to do some sincere fasting and praying. And Allah led me to um, the Gambia. And I am so grateful, so thankful for my choice. So, okay, the Gambia is a beautiful place. It's called the Smiling Coast of Africa. The people are like very nice, very, very genuine, and are very good people. And no matter what, for as the good, the bad, or whatever that I have gone through in the Gambia, I love, I would tell people any day, I love me some Gambians. Period, honey. I do not care what I have gone through. I love me Gambians. Anyway, so the Gambia, uh, we know that it's a developing country. They're in developing, honey. Building is going on daily, honey. People is really building. So the Gambia is a developing country and it is progressing. Progressing. But what I love about it, it is a very peaceful country. The Gambia is not perfect, but however, it's not the worst. Back is one of the most peaceful countries in Africa. Yes, the Gambia is. So, the Gambia is safe. I call the Gambia my paradise. Yes, I call the Gambia my paradise. So, therefore, it got to be some safety, some peace somewhere for me to call it paradise. And I hit America being the rat race, going, 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 working hard, working hard. And then when I get to the Gambia, I'm able to woosah. I'm able to breathe. I'm able to be peaceful. I'm able to do everything that I'm not, not able to do in America. So the Gambia is a very beautiful, beautiful country. So people need to make sure that you do your research to see what country is good for you what country fits you just because the gambia fits me and it's my paradise it may not be um your paradise you may think differently some people went to the um gambia and it was hell for them <laughs> 
So everybody experience is different. But I just wanted to tell my experience because I was asked um, through email, is the Gambia a peaceful country? How is the Gambia? And um, someone was trying to figure out, should they go to the Gambia or Ghana? So let's touch on that. Ghana, I did do a lot, a lot of research. And I'm still planning to uh, make it to Ghana. Inshallah. Um, when? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> but hopefully soon. Hopefully. Inshallah. But um, so I have done a lot of research and I can see and can tell that Ghana is a beautiful country. But if you go to Ghana and you planning on staying in the capital, you planning on staying in Accra, you probably end up paying some U.S. dollars for rent. <laughs> That's one thing I didn't understand about Ghana. I'm like, how would you all go charge U.S. dollars for rent? Like, this is not the U.S. It's Africa. Why is you charging U.S. dollars? Anyway, so you must do your research so you can see what's what. And um, they said like more of the outskirts of Accra. You know, it's uh, more peaceful, and the prices is better. You actually get get can get some good um, places for cheaper prices. So, yes. Yeah, so, um, one sister I talk with, whether you pray or not, <laughs> and you come asking me where should you go or trying to get advice, I am going to um, encourage you or encourage everyone to pray. Yes. Period. So um, we must have we must pray about our steps so the Almighty can order our steps so He can lead us in the perfect way. But um, I think depending on your lifestyle, depending on what you're doing, depending on the type of work that you're planning on doing um, in Africa, then you should consider exactly uh, where you go. Because um, the Gambia might not work for some people that do certain things. But for some people that do certain things, it may work perfectly. So you have to do enough research and enough prayer to uh, figure out what fits you. But when it comes to the Gambia, yes, the Gambia is peaceful. But you have to take your measures to uh, make sure that you stay safe and you are safe. So through researching, have hit the ground, that's on the ground, have already been to Africa, born and raised in Africa, it's good that you talk to people so people can um, encourage you and people can enlighten you and people can give you sound advice on what's what what. And that's how you research. When you reach out to talk to these people, talk to those people, that's how you research and you find out the conclusion of the matter. Should you go here? Should you go there? Some of us visits first. Some people don't visit first. Some people do enough research and just get up and go. Some people get. Um, some people do enough research that they know. Okay, this is for me or this is not for me. And I was like, I don't need to um, go um, first. I'm going. <laughs> I'm shedding down my life and I'm going. And I do not re regret my decision. But I will tell others if you able to go visit before you actually pack up and, and just go if you're able to go visit then do so we we must realize we have to have a prayer and we have to have a plan you have to have a plan and you got to see uh, what's going to work for you when it comes to business where work for one person may not work for the next person you may want to do something that uh, somebody else is doing that you probably don't even enjoy doing. So you got to find out what you enjoy doing and, and um, what will work for you. So everybody have a path. Everybody have a journey. And we have to um, be mindful of our path, of our journey to have tailor-made for us individually. And then we have to walk that thing out. We have to walk it out. <laughs> walk it out, honey. Um, yeah, so just because this person ran over here and started a mechanic business, I'm not about to go do it because um, it looks good. Uh-uh, honey, I don't know nothing about no cars. So I'm not going to do that. So we have to be careful. And when we get to Africa, we have to have some kind of stream of income that's coming in. Some people able to just pack up and go, you know, have been blessed to retire and everything but before the time come I'm working out my plan I'm working it working it working it so when that time come I'm gonna be set 
I'm gonna be set, honey. I'm gonna have my businesses. I'm gonna have my compounds. I'm gonna have, uh, I'm gonna have this. I'm gonna have that. So I'm going to be set. So we have to have a prayer and we have to have a plan. Period. Yes. So what works for me may not work for you. And then once you come, you get your place. You get your compound. Um, some people need to consider security. A lot of people get dogs for security, and it actually works. Cause some people's dog dogs people. Some people love dogs, but for me, <laughs> uh uh, day the honey. I do not do dogs. I do not do dogs. I, when I do do a dog, it got to be a little cute furry dog that I can put in my purse. That's the kind of dog I do. I don't do the um the the, the pit bull the pit bulls and the and the uh, German shepherds and the different um big dogs that 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 we need for security. Uh uh, they that. <laughs> So a dog won't work for me, but a dog will work for a lot of people. So you got to do what's best for you. And then when you um, look into getting security, a security person, you need to be careful because, honey, sometimes security people can do more dirt, um, do more harm to you than the actual robbers. Because they, the security, the security people sometimes will be the one to set you up. So you have to be careful when you get a security person and I have heard somebody say when you get a security person you need to probably get somebody that can refer you to somebody or these people here they seem legit from some um in on WhatsApp they posted this flyer that I'm about to post and um they was just telling us about this security and honey just the advertisement I'm like okay they they on top of it honey they on top of it so um so you may need to look into some reliable security companies or whatever and get you somebody reliable don't go on the street somebody anybody know anybody that can be a security guard because you may be hiring the robber so you have to be careful when it comes to your security person yes yeah, so um yeah so just do your groundwork you know uh, research and you will be okay and you, when it comes to your money, your finances, save, save, and save again. Because things are like way cheaper than in the U.S. But, honey, money go real fast in Africa. You be like, wait a minute, I did I already spent that much, spent that much? Yes, yes, honey. The money go very fast. So, save, save, save. But, when it comes to the Gambia, is the Gambia safe? Yes, it is. The Gambia is my paradise. I love Gambians. Beautiful people, beautiful country. To the end, period. Well, but get ready, family. Get ready. I am bringing it so you all can beware. Beware. <laughs> beware of the snakes that's slipping and sliding. Like my mom used to say, around here slipping and sliding on your belly. <laughs> so beware. I am coming with the story time and I cannot wait. Coming soon. Peace and blessings. My life, my life, good days or bad days don't last forever. If I go down, I rise again, not expecting to fall, only will I bend. Run the evil to me, returning kindness to you. Revenge is not my style, karma will pay you. Don't get it twisted, victory is my name. Seeking to stay focused, not looking for fame. Missing my mom, make her soul rest in peace. Strong as a lion, there's no, no defeat. Led me to the slaughter like a baby lamb. I prepare for this moment like an exodus dam. They say, Lord, Lord, we did that in your name. Think they are right, right?